you make this conflict between science and religion, and it's used as an example, don't trust religion, trust science. In the end, science will be proven to be right, not religion. What really happened? Well, Copernicus thought the, uh, rather than was commonly believed, Copernicus thought the sun was the center of the solar system, not the earth, right? And he postulated this. Well, by the time Galileo came around, he had better instruments, and he did, you know, his uh, mathematical equations of the stars and the movement of the earth, or uh, of the stars, and he concluded the earth, instead of being in the center of the universe with the sun going around us, he said, hey, my calculations show that the earth is actually going around the sun. And he even gave a speed, you know, we're going this huge rate of speed around the sun and it, in, in, in 365 days. Now, pardon me? You know what happened? Galileo took his research on astronomy to the chief scientist of the Vatican. Now, the Vatican, of course, was both the religious and uh, scientific, I mean, it, it, the religious and political leader of the country. I mean, it's just like now we have a political, and, and our government, we have like the National Institutes for Health, Center for Disease Control, where you submit your research to them because, you know, that's how governments are set up. You submit your research and they challenge it, evaluate it, look at it, and so on, you know? We have that here, and so on. Now, he took his research on astronomy and submitted it to the Vatican scientists. Galileo was liked by them. He was a brilliant scientist. He was liked, and he was believing God. But they had a question for him. Who knows what the question was? Yes, sir, nobody knows. The question was this. Galileo, if the Earth is really moving around the sun at a high rate of speed, how come when we drop a rock, it goes straight down and does, instead of landing over there. It's we called can, acceleration. Can explain, explain, we can explain. Just a minute. It's, 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 yeah, it's it's you know what? Listen, can I finish my story? Can I, can I finish my story here? All right. We understand that. We understand that. We call it inertia. We understand that, you know, when you when you start riding in a car, you feel the or an airplane, you feel it first, but you get used to it, and you, you know, we understand that. But they didn't back then. And so yes, you can explain to me, and yes, I understand why too. But Galileo couldn't answer the question. And they asked him, Galileo, if the Earth is really moving, why does it not appear like we're moving? <laughs> Let me finish my story. Don't assume you know the answer. Why? Why should we trust the answer? You don't, don't you assume that physics majors know the Can answer. Can you please let it finish? I want to see what the point is. I don't know. That makes sense. It's the first thing here, right? So, so what happened here was, as you can see, Galileo could not answer the question. He did not know. Why, if the Earth is moving so fast, does it not appear that we're moving? Because it appears we're standing still. The Earth does not appear to be moving. If you're just looking right here now, they didn't have some of the instruments and theory we now have. And so he said, I don't know. And so what you had here actually was a conflict of astronomy. So if you look at the stars, he's saying, you know what? I don't think it's them that's moving. I think it's us that's moving. Astronomy would say that, but physics would say, we're not moving, we're standing still. You know, you drop the rock, it goes straight down, it doesn't land over there. I just don't understand like, so, physics. That, that's all that means. Dude. Yeah, that's all, all right. that means. You know what? Are you guys, you guys are supposed to be smart people here. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, you get that's the why we're like objecting to things that when you're wrong, we tell you you're wrong. <laughs> because we're so smart. The point we're is, the point that they is, is to defend scientific Yes, you had, you had the science of astronomy that appeared to say the Earth is moving around the sun. Working with You physics. had the science of physics. Did you know what at that time? Do you know what proved mistake. theory of relativity? It was astronomy. Is when they absorbed. Uh, Can I absorbed, tell you something? Uh, solar eclipse. Galileo was not aware of the theory of relativity. That it came a matter. few hundred years later. I understand that. Right. What I'm saying is okay. what you're talking about right now is perfectly understandable to us. But here's in a proper the thing: way. the issue wasn't so solved with evidence. Can I finish? You know, 
you know, maybe if I finished my story, you wouldn't look dumb. All right, so let me finish. So let me finish, my friend. What we look like. The point is that you started arguing about Newtonian physics. So, rather than what really appeared to be, or what has been presented to us as a conflict of scientific belief, Galileo, versus religious belief, the Vatican, is really a conflict of a scientific observation of astronomy versus a scientific observation of physics. And so the scientists of the Vatican said this, Galileo, until you can answer why it does not appear like we're moving, why don't you hold off? This is a serious question. You say the Earth is moving. It doesn't seem like we are. Do your research on that. Once you can answer that question, bring it back for further discussion. He said he agreed to. And you know what? And so he, he agreed he would not publish until he could answer that question. Well, in the next several years, the Pope died. And a new Pope came to power. And again, this Pope actually was quite good friends with Galileo. And Galileo thought he can publish. And uh, this guy would not do anything bad against him because they're buddies. They're friends. And so he didn't actually even publish scientific finding. He wrote a parody in which there was two people discussing. It was obvious the scientist and the Pope, and in which he made the he, he, he presented his idea, violating his agreement. But he did say this. He had an idea of how he knew the Earth was actually moving. And in his writing, what he said was this. The evidence that the Earth is actually moving is the ocean tides come in and out. Now, was he right? No. What causes the ocean tides? Gravitational pull of the moon. Dar uh, 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 Galileo had, he knew he was confident in astronomy, but he needed the evidence of physics. The evidence he provided was ocean tides. My only point is this. Obviously, the Vatican was both the religious, political authority of the day. And the Vatican did oppose Galileo. And the Vatican, when he violated his agreement, they did arrest him. They put him under house arrest. He, he wasn't ever thrown in prison, he was put in house arrest. He still had his scientific instruments, but he was not allowed to pursue this theory of uh, the, the sun being the center versus the, the earth. He's allowed to pursue any other science he wanted. Rather than being a conflict, though, as we've learned, that science was right, religion was wrong, religion oppressed the science, get rid of religion, let science prevail, that's what we're taught. What really was going on, a conflict of the science of astronomy saying one thing, the science of physics something else. Now, as we agree, this was hundreds of years ago, we now understand why we can be standing on planet Earth and we realize the Earth is moving at a high rate of speed, but it doesn't feel like it. Physics has now answered that question, but it did not have the answer back in the days of Galileo. It was an honest question of one scientific observation versus another that were in conflict. And, and uh, it wasn't science religion. It was really astronomy and physics was where the conflict was.